yes that's correct it is zero degrees in the garage so pretty cold tonight took a bit of motivation to get in here but I'm in now so carrying on from where we got to last time which was we got the um, we were looking at the local cable adjustments which is the basically it's either called the kick down the kick down for the transmission or the throttle position sensor is basically a way of telling the automatic gearbox where the throttle is so as the throttle opens let's just push it back like that so as the throttle opens here we just swap hands as the throttle opens pulls on the cable and that then pulls uh, a lever down on the gearbox below which then obviously increases the pressure of the gearbox and causes it to kick down now I found online some information because obviously this car came from the US with it fitted I found some information online which I've downloaded and had a look at which tells me about the cable uh, it seems to have all the components that I've already got in place so it shows here the local cable on the end of the accelerator arm with the springs going through this low pivot and then it's got the accelerator cable above there um, so this is again this is at the carburetor end here and then this is what you've got down on the gearbox end the other end of the cable and a little pivot there and a bracket that goes on the gearbox which I think is on a picture somewhere uh, let me have a look yes it's here so what it is it's showing the cable curl round there on that little bracket so that little thing there is basically this here so this comes round here on the flange at the back of the nose of the gearbox and then comes onto this lever here this linkage here is for a different transmission shifter um, I've got a rod linkage going this way to the front of the car because it's a column change that's obviously a floor shifter it's shown now just looking at this setup here where you've got the kick down cable yeah they are calling it the kick down throttle body fitting this kick down cable here um, if I just show you on mine how it was installed before it is we had this accelerator cable going through this bracket here uh, and the accelerator cable the accelerator cable picked up onto here and then pulled on the throttle now what I've actually got I just found it brand new packet got a brand new cable here so this cable just go against a bit of a contrasting background you see this cable is pretty similar to the one in the local catalogue information this will go onto the carburetor here with a pivot here and uh, there's some adjustment here so you can move this up and down for the length of the cable and this will be on the top so this will go this will go here like this so that will go either side of that bracket there and then this goes on to this end here uh, and then inside the car you'll have this end here this this will go through the transmission bulkhead and depending on what the outside scale is like it'll either pick up on the clevis or it does have a little lead ferrule on the end which I can just try and show you there so you can actually do away with that and just have that there so I'll have a look inside see what the cable setup is like and see how it's going to work right it looks like uh, luck is on my side here in that the cable setup is a little got a little pip on the end there a little sort of solder lead lug on the end so it looks like if I can take this little plastic clip off here there without losing that looks like I can simply unhook the accelerator cable 
from there. So what I need to do now, get it out of the bulkhead. So if there's a clip on there, or it's just pushed in there, it does look like there's a clip on there. So I can take that out and then put the new cable through there onto the accelerator cable. And that'll also let me know if it fits any better around the actual um, um, it'll also let me know if it fits better around the rocker cover without interfering with the engine or touching the rocker cover so let me try getting that in place so you can see now um, I've got a nice transition on the cable uh, the cable here is going down here and round here not too easy to see really, it might be better from that sort of angle whereas before it was rubbing on the back of here I can now get a nice S bend in it probably just push it back a little bit like that so you can get a bit of clearance there and the cable it's coming out the bulkhead there now you can just see it underneath the, the wiring and it's actually a good two inch clear of the rocker cover whereas before it was rubbing the rocker cover it would come around there cut it here put, in, put some masking tape on just try to get the position I don't, I don't want it like that I want to just put a little bit in it to allow for the engine to move around that will come into there and you can see it's a very similar setup with the accelerator cable at the top now which will go through here and run onto here with that new fitting and then the local cable at the bottom going through it also means I can get rid of this bracket here which was also rubbing on the back of the cable here as well and then we can have a look underneath at the other end of the local cable so what I'm going to do I'm going to take this bracket off here because I no longer need this on the manifold now that'll clear this area up and we'll have a look underneath you can see down here this is the other end of the, the lever so this is the lever here which obviously decides that must be closed and then the lever pull backwards to there so that will be wide open throttle and that will be on tick over there so this cable needs to come back from here and through this bolt on the gearbox here you can see that's the flange there that will go onto that so I've just got to do a bit of rerouting of the accelerator cable sorry the um, throttle cable onto there get that round to there and that also reminds me I've got to put the nose on there for the oil cooler so I'll get you can see with the original accelerator cable rocket out of the way it's now a lot clearer a lot cleaner and I can get a nice sort of S bend in there where the cable will clear the rocker cover clear the bulkhead fit into there like that and that looks a look a much neater install at this end and if you can see I've got the bracket in place on the gearbox transmission mount there it's coming down and it's on the throttle position sensor there the only issue I've got really is here it's going to run very close to this transmission cooler pipe so what I think I might do is instead of bracketing it off there make a bracket that maybe comes around in a horseshoe off here with a hole about here and then the cable runs level parallel onto this clip here just one final note I've rewritten my list of jobs to do on it which may seem a bit anal but I don't know if you're a, sometimes some people like to write job lists and cross them off I certainly do as you can tell but I think it helps you focus your mind so it gives you an idea what you're going to do and I've tried to prioritise the stuff I put it into a couple of categories engine to run so that's a uh, good so I know I've got rid of the engine vibration test drive so up and down the road make sure I'm happy and then on to UK registration which is a lot simpler on a, a vehicle like this now 1971 because basically it won't need an MOT it's MOT exempt and tax exempt so it's more of a paperwork exercise to send the US title off the import document a Nova cert which basically proves I've paid the non-revenue tax and then I just pay 55 pound I can register it 
there may be an inspection required at the moment it's sort of an ad hoc thing they're saying it's like two in ten vehicles are getting called for um, inspection so I'll see what it is but that's really just to make sure it is the vehicle it is make sure the VIN number's correct all the documentation lines up and it's it's a fairly original vehicle and unmodified and then I've got some of the other jobs to do which obviously things like uh, fixing the headlining which is hanging down fixing the trim and just generally finishing it all off making it good so my goal really in the initial period is this bit let's get the engine running um, get the transmission up to up to temperature get it all bled all oil in it make sure it'll select and go through all the gears and uh, then we can move on to the next bit of making sure we get the brakes working get it off the axle zone to go for a run so that definitely is for now because it's uh, below zero now and it's pretty cold in here so thanks for watching and talk soon come back in a bit of a nest like this I just need to try and work out how far inside it needs to go in this ferrule now another tip here so sorry what I'm going to do when I get this to the right point here I'm going to mark it and then cut it cut it here now a real big tip to do because I've done this before pull the inner all the way back out or else you'll cut through the whole lot and it's too short so I'm going to push that through now pull it all the way through on the inside so I know it's all the way out okay so that's all the way out that's fastened into the bulkhead I want to just get an idea when that goes in there how far does it sit in so how far do I need to add on so it's about half an inch right so in fact it's always easier to start off too long and just shorten down so I'm going to start about there about there and best use some very sharp cutters like that so that's that bit gone let's have a look to there sit in there like that so there we go that's what the cable is going to sit like now I think that let me just show you looks a lot better there it's not rubbing on the back of the rocker cover anymore it's curling round and coming into the top of there right so what I've done now got the accelerator cable through and remember as well if you pull it that means your pedals at the top which is what you want with the throttle closed and I need to mark the position where this is going to get cut to now what I need to do is just mark where this is going to be approximately there's a little bit of adjustment either way so we'll just take it to about there that's fully closed this is pulled so that's the pedal up so that's fully shut down we just need to make sure obviously when you get wide open throttle and this lever is going to go this way it looks like there's going to be enough travel there so that's where I want to cut it there now you just need to make sure you get a nice cut on these so rather than cutting right on the end where I need it I'm just going to try cutting here with these pliers because I've got a variety of pliers some of them are good at cutting some of them are terrible I'm just going to try this see if I get a nice cut yep that cut nice didn't fray any of the ends so hopefully I'll be able to repeat that here just double check check twice cut once as my dad used to say so cut there we go let's hope we've got that in the right place so what I need to do now is find that allen key out yesterday Right, okay, found an Allen key that fits this. No idea what I did with on yesterday. I'm sure I have some sort of uh, garage demon that goes around and pinches all my tools. But I never seem to, I'm sure, I'm sure I put them down and then someone moves them. I must spend 50% of my time looking for things in the garage. Right, so that clips onto there. Accelerator cable goes into there. Pull it so we know the pedals at the top. tighten that up I'm not gonna completely destroy it at the moment and over tighten it I think there's a bit of play in there we can get rid of 
probably again equally you don't want it where it's an absolute hair trigger the moment you rest your foot on the accelerator pedal it's opening the throttle so you want a little bit of movement so I could probably take this out by lengthening these so let's just try that that's probably a bit better so that's in there that's into there that I did just nip it in that yep again as I say I can screw that into there as well Let's just run that down there. Let's just have it all roughly in place. Like that. Right, so I'm going to press the exercise pedal now and see if I can get wide open throttle. Obviously, <coughs> you're going to see this before me because I'm inside the car and can't see what's going on. So I need you to tell me if you saw this go wide open throttle, which basically is that. Wow, this return spring is strong. Let's just take that off for a minute. Right, so this is going to go all the way. And it's got to operate. The secondary is there, so these flaps are going to open at the top. So it's going to go all the way around to there. Right, so let's see what that does. Let's try that. interesting because I did actually see from inside that this didn't seem to be opening all the way it seemed to be getting to about here wasn't doing that last pull and that there if we just have a look and uh, find my pen again there. So, let's just see. I think it's getting to about there. And then the extra bit has got to go. So it's about another centimetre of travel. Now that could be something I've got going on in the carpet there. Or it could just be that little bit of slack I could take out of it. Which could just get me there that little bit quicker. So let me just take this off here. Shorten this a little bit. Let's see if that does it. See that would just be pulling very slightly on the cable, which is what I don't want.
fire is a little bit better, really a second pair of eyes to be honest, someone under the bonnet and someone inside pressing it. It seems to be a little bit more movement I can get and the accelerator pedal seems a little bit loose. So we just need to see where that's fastened down and just tighten these bolts up here. So let me go span on these, lift these up, Let's see what we're doing. Oh and by the way, I just found the Allen key. I couldn't find. <clears throat> For such a big car, it's very fiddly to work on. Very tight. bolts on the pedal assembly on are actually tight there's quite a bit of movement inside and I suspect it's probably the um, lighting letting it flex a little bit and I don't like the way it feels so I'm just going to see if I can nip this up here which is proving difficult to access okay so I've got the accelerator cable on connected at this end keep ending up with slack here now there's a lot of movement in the pedal on the inside against the bulkhead so I think I need to do something with that I'm not quite happy how that is and then this keeps going slack and again when I'm pressing the accelerator cable you can see wide open throttle let's take this off wide open throttle is actually there and I'm not getting that I'm probably getting about that I'm just not getting that last sort of five millimeters of cable travel and I think what it is is the pedals bossing it out on the carpet it's a combination of the pedal rocking on the bulkhead in fact I'll show you I'll see this so you can see here the pedal where it's coming through there it's got a bolt fixing here and a bolt fixing there at the top but then it's got this foam behind it and it's not even touching here and you can see the whole pedal pivots and moves on the bulkhead. I don't know if there's any stress cracks in it or it's just a bad design. So I think I want to take a look at that. Probably take the accelerator cable out. The pedal is held in two points. Um, one of them is a stud there through the bulkhead and the other one is a stud here through the bulkhead. It's got a return on the bracket here, which I think you can just see maybe not it is incredibly tight around here you can see the strength in it is in the wrong place so when you press the pedal the whole thing flexes and moves and it's pivoting around that point now I've also at the bottom there you can see I've just put a nut like an M10 nut underneath which is just spacing off the bulkhead slightly which is obviously then allowed the arc of this pedal to go a bit further because obviously it's needing a little bit more movement again remembering this originally was a, a slant 6 engine so the pedal was probably set up for that carburetor and this one just requires a little bit more movement so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this pedal assembly out I'm going to, I can't just leave a nut stuff under it like that, that's not a good repair I'm going to put a packer underneath here that holds it off the bulkhead at that distance I'm going to take out this foam here and just silicon sealant it to the bulkhead from a weatherproofing point of view 
and I'm going to put going to strengthen this bracket here so it won't flex in future. I'm going to extend this um, rib further up. It'll be clearer to see when it's out. So I'm going to get the pedal out now, and we can have a look at that. Got the accelerator bracket in the vice now, ready to put the strengthener on. So the plan is, I've made this little piece here out of some scrap steel I've got. So I think it's a section off um, a little bit of racking which I kept probably had it years so it comes in handy so I'll cut this little bit and it just fits in nicely in there so we'll just stop this flexing around this point like that so a little gusset will go in there so I'll spot weld it at the top spot weld it there and then seam weld it all the way down and then issue it back. There we go, got that welded up. It's never been best if it took the excited cable out first, but not too bad. There we go. Right, there we go. So I've welded that up. That's looking pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Just got to put the little rib at the bottom here. Okay, so I've got the accelerator cable back in place. Got the pet cable back in place, pedal back in place. Let's see um, if we can get full travel. And obviously, this, like I say, opens about three eighths of an inch, ten mil, something like that. So let's see if we can get that. Far. Yay! Well, that looks like it's a success, so I'll take it off now, give it a coat of paint, and then put it back in place. Okay, so the finished article there, with the uh, strengthening bracket, strengthening rib, put in place. Got a little tab at the bottom there, just hold it off the off the bulkhead. Which gives it sort of increases the travel of the pedal, just so I can get full wide open throttle. Uh, there we go, finished. Giving it a coat of matte black, but since it's uh, only two degrees in here, just run over it with a hot air gun, just to try and flash it off. Uh, I'm going to put the heater on now and just even get it finished off and probably fit it tomorrow. Okay, thanks. So I'm just looking at the other end of the kick down cable now and you can see it goes onto this pivot here and this moves backwards and forwards so as you accelerate this pulls forward wide open throttle it's in that position there and then that alters the 
pressuring the gearbox to kick down whereas the problem I've got is basically the angle it's on is running uphill from here to this bracket here this is the bracket they tell you to fasten it on but it's just going to rub on this transmission cooler pipe here so what I'm thinking is it really needs to be modified with a bracket instead of being up here instead of being up here it needs to be about here and parallel so you can see it's going uphill there to that it's just ridiculous so I need to have a pick up off this point here on the gearbox or I might do a little L-shaped bracket off here so if the cable comes down here and goes there so I'm just going to see if there's, take this apart and see if there's enough away from the cable to get this down to here there we go that's a better install so basically all I did I repurposed the bracket that was in this hole here took that bracket off that was bent on a sort of a 45 degree angle put it here bent it at 90 degrees put it through this hole here and you can see now it's a much better angle for this to operate here and it's completely clear from this um, oil cooler pipe so I can get that on I can get the oil cooler pipes on now so there's one to go on here and one to go on here which I think I'll just bend that a little bit so it just clears this gear lever as well uh, this gear linkage so I'll do that and then the final thing to put on is the electrical connection there for the that will be for the neutral switch so then all the gearbox transmission is reconnected right I finally got the accelerator cable and the local cable with a kick down cable for the transmission in position so you can see the top cable is the accelerator cable the lower one is the kick down cable so as I press the accelerator pedal the top accelerator cable is going to pull towards the bulkhead and the transmission cable is going to go this way so it's going to pivot that way and you'll see I'll get wide open throttle uh, with the accelerator flaps open and the local cable will be fully this way There we go, so that's that bit ticked off. I finish off with a couple of jobs finished, so kick down cable install, rework accelerator linkage while I put a new cable in, so that's sorted that out. Um, also put the transmission hoses on, but that's no big deal, so I'm not showing you that. So the next thing to do is fill the transmission, um, fuel a little bit, have a check around the engine, some of the things that I may have left disconnected. Um, join the strip down, check it all out, tidy the dizzy cables up, put the dizzy cap back on, put the battery in obviously, uh, put that earth lead on, try and pull some of the wire in, uh, clear of the engine, um, then what I'll do, I'll take the plugs out, crank the engine over, get it um, oil pressure up might reroute the oil pipe I don't know if you can see right over there no you can't and you probably saw it near the accelerator pedal it's badly rooted for some reason it comes um, just try and get a light up there for some reason it comes over this side of the engine here and then routes all the way down underneath the steering column round the accelerator pedal and back inside to where the oil gauge is so I really want to be going from here through an available hole in the bulkhead onto the gauge rather than this convoluted loop all the way around so I might have a look at that rework that um, then I think I'm probably ready to fire it up well, like I say I'll get the oil pressure up make sure all that's okay and as I promised my friend Chris, 
I wait till he gets over here uh, and then fire it up when he's here and see if we can do a little video together um, of it running and hopefully the whole reason I stripped it down two years ago with the vibration uh, has gone away but that remains to be seen so stand by <laughs> 